Dictatorships are based on a primitive psychological mechanism, namely on the creation of a climate of fear amongst the population, based on the brutal potential of the dictatorial regime. Totalitarianism, on the other hand, has its roots in the insidious psychological process of mass formation. Only a thorough analysis of this process enables us to understand the shocking behaviors of a totalitarianized population, including an exaggerated willingness of individuals to sacrifice their own personal interests out of solidarity with the collective, i.e. the masses, a profound intolerance of dissident voices, and pronounced susceptibility to pseudoscientific indoctrination and propaganda. Mass formation is, in essence, a kind of group hypnosis that destroys individuals' ethical self-awareness and robs them of their ability to think critically. This process is insidious in nature. Populations fall prey to it unsuspectingly. To put it in the words of Yuval Noah Harari, most people wouldn't even notice the shift toward a totalitarian regime. We associate totalitarianism mainly with labor, concentration, and extermination camps, but those are merely the final, bewildering stage of a long process. <laughs>